As the old saying goes, if you want to make crime pay, become a lawyer. And these days, the growth industry in the legal profession is defending people charged with terrorism offences. Tonight, the Australian lawyers advertising their services to accused extremists and why we can end up footing their legal bill. Have you got expertise when it comes to terrorism defence? I can get someone to speak to you about the website if you'd like. Or can you speak to us about it? I'm angry about this. If I think that one dollar is going to be going towards um, looking after or protecting a terrorist in this country, uh, I'm not happy about it. Where there's someone charged with terrorism, there's often someone applying for legal aid. No, look, i You know, we've come here to have a chat. Let's have a chat, mate. Thanks, guys. And where there's legal aid, there's lawyers. You've got lawyers who are actively promoting that they can get accused terrorists out of jail. And I think that is confronting. There's attacks occurring, and uh, I imagine there's going to be uh, lawyers out there who can anticipate that there'll be more of them. I'm a supporter of the free market. I think, I think if lawyers should be able to advertise if they've got expertise in a particular area. You can't blame any businessman for fishing where the fish are. But the sad reality of today is, whether it's in Sydney, in Brisbane, here in Melbourne or across Australia, there's now big bucks in defending alleged terrorists. I'm attorney Jamie Casino, and I don't represent villains anymore. I speak for innocent victims who cannot speak for themselves. Take a quick look at the law firm advertisements coming out of the United States, and you'd think theirs is a uniquely American art. Why Wilson! The Texas law! But closer to home, where alleged terror plots have become regular enough to set your watches to, Australian lawyers are spruiking their services in equally controversial ways. A current affair can reveal that over the past six years, taxpayers have footed the bill for no less than 48 terrorism defence cases in New South Wales alone. That's one every six and a half weeks. So it's no surprise firms like Sydney Criminal Lawyers are advertising for their slice of the pie. Being charged with a terrorism offence can turn your world upside down, attracting unwanted media attention and prejudice which may negatively impact your future. However, the expert team at Sydney Criminal Lawyers has the knowledge and skills to help you overcome terrorism accusations, leaving you free to get on with your life. But despite their promises, when you come and visit, it doesn't exactly seem like they're open for business. In fact, both the Western Sydney offices of Sydney Criminal Lawyers... Hello? ...are open by appointment only. But after a week of phone calls and emails, we were finally granted an interview with their managing lawyer, Wally Shakur. Wally, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you, you guys make no secret of the fact that you are experts when it comes to terror defence. Why have you advertised it on your website? Um, just a second. I, I, just before we go ahead, I don't, I don't know much about the website. That's the problem. <laughs> well, you know, you, 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 you work at this law firm and it's... Just a second. Here the team can help you out, leaving you free to get on with your life. What's um, your reaction to that? I, look, I think it's terrific, just having a, a, a read through it. I know these guys, and um, uh, they're a very good criminal law firm. Criminal uh, and barrister and spokesman for the Australian Lawyers Alliance, Greg Barnes, once starred in a documentary called The Trial about his role in Australia's biggest terrorism case. He reckons Wally should be proud of his law firm's advertisement. If law firms do have that expertise, and there are some who do have that expertise, then uh, it is important that people get the right advice in the same way that, you know, you, you want to go to a good uh, heart surgeon if you've got a heart problem. I thought the idea of the legal process was for someone to actually state what happened as opposed to a lawyer giving them the... ABC of how you can get off. 2GB radio host Ben Fordham is concerned by some law firms spelling out their knack for beating terrorism charges, whether those charges are warranted or not. I think that most people would say, hang on a moment here, is this really leading to a justice system or is this lending a hand to people, giving them ideas, planning ideas in their head of how you can get off, how you can escape any punishment? Sydney Criminal Lawyers is not the only firm to spot an emerging market in the defence of accused terrorists. These ads appear on legal websites around the country, advising of possible defences, 
reminding clients that terrorism can be a rather emotive term and listing specialties in previously uncharted areas of terrorism law. Sorry, uh, mate, I don't know much about the website, that's the problem, but I can possibly get someone to talk to you about the website if you'd yeah, like. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, that's what we're here to talk about, yeah. the, the, you know, you guys advertise at your... Terror... That's the problem, I don't know anything about the website, mate. I can get someone... That's where all your work comes from. Mate, I don't know anything about the website. Justin Sibley has successfully pulled apart expert witnesses called by the Australian Federal Police in terrorism cases. If you have been charged with a terrorism-related offence, it is in your best interest to talk to Justin Sibley directly. People think of terrorism as an unlikely event, but really it's just part of law like, like murder and all other offences, isn't it? Well, it certainly is, that's right. The reality of our, our time is that uh, we're seeing that um, uh, the law... Uh, is being used. Brisbane lawyer Justin Sibley is listed on his firm's website as an expert in terrorism defence. He says that if we deny some people proper representation, then our whole legal system falls apart. All law is important. It's, it's not about a, a financial uh, benefit. So the, the issue is about the actual uh, law itself and properly um, being a part of uh, the uh, defence or prosecution of that law. For the record, a current affair is not suggesting these law firms are doing anything wrong. Everyone is entitled to a fair trial and a defence, regardless of the charge. What we are pointing out is that terrorism has reached such crisis levels in Australia, there is now an established market for lawyers with skills to represent what is a healthy supply of terror suspects. I'm just absolutely gobsmacked by this and, and the lawyers wanting to set this up and they're advertising it. They One Nation it leader, Pauline Hanson, says she's furious lawyers are helping accused terrorists and fighting for a slice of your paycheck through legal aid. We are not being able to fund people who desperately need it. Those are people who are taxpayers or people who are doing it tough. Yet we are going to put taxpayers' dollars towards these people who are up on terrorist charges. I don't believe we should. I'd, I'd like to ask them where their loyalties lie um, with our country. My loyalty is to democracy. Uh, my loyalty is to the rule of law and fairness. They are core Australian values. I would have thought they were the sort of values that Pauline Hanson would be uh, saying that she upholds. You know, we've come here to have a chat. Let's have a chat, mate. Thanks, guys. You can see you, sir. Wally. Wally. Since we spoke with Sydney criminal lawyers, they have updated their website. They say they now only represent clients facing, quote, false terrorism accusations.